Hi, I'm David. This is the fourth video in my web programming series. In this video, we'll dive into JavaScript. JavaScript is another language that works alongside HTML and CSS. With it, you can create very sophisticated and interactive web pages, even apps and games. In other words, real programming. Coding is like building with Legos. You use simple pieces, put them together in a complex way, and you can build sophisticated things. Also, sometimes when you can't imagine how to accomplish something, it turns out there's a specially made piece that does just what you want. You just have to learn how to work with it. Learning a programming language, like a natural language, involves syntax and vocabulary. That is, you have to know some words and how to put them together. The vocabulary of every programming language includes numbers and mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, and so on. Variables are used in both math and programming, but somewhat differently in each context. In math, a variable is an unknown, but basically fixed value. In programming, the value of a variable is known, but varies over time. Let's see how variables and mathematical operations can be used together to convert from one unit to another, like from Celsius to Fahrenheit. First, a variable will be created, which will subsequently be manipulated. This variable will initially hold the input to our simple algorithm. At first, we will hard code the value, meaning that for the purposes of learning and getting our code written, we will just specify the input manually in the code itself. We can do these steps one after the other, or in one line of code. var in in equals 100, or simply var in equals 100. Code is read from top to bottom, one line at a time. So, in our program so far, the first step is the creation of a variable, in, followed by assignment of the value 100 to it. In JavaScript, lines of code generally end with a semicolon. This is the formula to convert temperature in Celsius to Fahrenheit that we're going to use. T sub F equals 32 plus T sub C times 9 fifths. Very little is required to translate the mathematical formula into JavaScript code. Where the formula specifies T sub C, we will use the variable in. For the variable T sub F, we could create a second variable, or we could reuse the variable in. Which approach you take is largely a matter of style. In this case, I'm going to reuse in. In mathematics, there is a so-called order of operations, meaning every operation has a specific precedence, some higher than others, some equal to one another. For example, addition and subtraction have the same precedence. Multiplication and division also have the same precedence, but it's higher than addition and subtraction. Assignment, the equals operation, has a very low precedence, so it will be performed as the last step. Have a look at a selection of the numeric operations in JavaScript in their order of precedence from high to low. visit this table in the next video. When interpreting this line of code, the computer would take the following steps. Multiply in by 9. Divide the result by 5. Add the result to 32. And assign that result back to in. After the code runs, in will be the temperature in Fahrenheit. 
Sometimes formulas get long and unwieldy. In those cases, you can use algebra to carry out the formula over several lines of code. As an example, here's how the single line of code could be broken up into multiple lines and the algorithm performed step by step. Now, how can we display this newly calculated value? Well, one simple solution in JavaScript is the alert function. The concept of functions, like variables, is shared with math but modified in programming. This is an example of a function which takes a single value, the argument or parameter, and does not return a value. In math, all functions return values, but not so in programming. Similarly, in math, every function would take at least one argument, but again, not so in programming. To explore that topic, I'd like to return back to the beginning of our simple program. Right now, the input to the conversion algorithm is hard-coded. Let's modify it so that the user can enter a temperature in Celsius to convert to Fahrenheit. We'll write in equals prompt, so that in will be the result returned by prompt. Prompt is a built-in function. This function doesn't require any arguments. Even so, in order to execute the function, the opening and closing parentheses are required. Watch what happens when the code runs. Unlike the alert function, the prompt function does return a value. If the user presses OK, whatever value is in the input field is returned. If the user presses cancel, the function returns a special value called null. I mentioned that prompt doesn't require any arguments, but it does accept two optional arguments. The first one is text to be displayed as a prompt, the second some text to act as the default input value. Here's what that would look like. That'll do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. We'll pick up from here in the next video. Until then, happy coding.